Lesson 102, I share God's will for happiness for me. Welcome to the Qigong Support for A Course in Miracles students. I'm Judith and you're at the Lucid Mind Center. First, we're going to read the lesson together. We're going to contemplate it together. And at the end, I will suggest a particular Qigong class for you, which is suitable to do for this lesson. Uh, in the Qigong classes, I will remind you to remember your lesson and also remind you to listen to the message from your higher self. As we, are, as we are Course in Miracles students, listening to your higher self or listening to your holy self is basically remembering who you truly are. And this is one of our tasks and aims. Before we start, make sure to subscribe to my channel so more Course in Miracles students can find me. At the end, let me know how long you've been with the Course in Miracles and where you're watching from and how this class was for you and also how the, uh, what you think about our contemplations. Let's begin. Lesson 102. I share God's will for happiness for me. You do not want to suffer. You may think it buys you something and may still believe a little that it buys you what you want. Yet this belief is surely shaken now, at least enough to let you question it. As we have said yesterday, there is no sin. And to suspect it really makes no sense. So this belief which we have had until now, that we got to suffer to be happy, we got to have to let go of this belief. It has not gone as yet but lacks the roots that once secured it tightly to the dark and hidden secret places of your mind. Today, we try to lose its weakened hold still further and to realize that pain is purposeless. Without a cause and with no power to accomplish anything, it cannot purchase anything at all. It offers nothing and does not exist. And everything you think it offers you is lacking in, in existence like itself. You have been slave to nothing. Be you free today to join the happy will of God. For several days we will continue to devote our longer practice periods to exercises planned to help you reach the happiness God's will has placed in you. And this is what we're going to do in Qigong as well. We're going to dedicate several Qigong classes to this happiness, remembering that happy place in you. And this is also why I'm wearing red and orange at the moment, because this is, this, this is the symbolic color of the heart where the highest human potential is living according to uh, Chinese medicine or Qigong, this is where the highest human potential is attached to, is the heart. And the reason why they think this is because when we, when we have got a broken heart, because somebody may be separated from us or maybe somebody died or a friend doesn't want us no more, then it hurts in our heart. That means that this emotion of a broken heart, this, this rejection of love which we're experiencing, it hurts there. So this is where the potential for, for the experience of the of unconditional love is until we it's gonna stop hurting until we when we realize that that life is not about bodies, that life is about illuminating illuminating the world and using whatever we have to do that. For several days we will continue to devote our longer practice periods to exercises planned to help you reach the happiness God's will has placed in you. Here is your home and here your safety is. Here is your peace and here there is no fear when we are doing Qigong classes. Here is salvation. Here is rest at last. So every time you're going into a meditative state, every time you you do a particular practice where you turn inward, where you sink within your true self, where you realize that this, what you are seeing around you is, is, um, 
is a projection of your five senses and that you will pick according you will you will you will see in this world according to your state of mind so your state if your state of mind is full of fear this is what you're going to see in the world and if your state of mind is full of love that is what you're going to see in the world and the course of miracles is distinguishing that between the illusional illusionary world of pain or the real world of love and joy and these classes here they are about seeing life seeing the happiness experience the happiness and the joy within you which is the light okay begin the longer practice periods with this acceptance of god's will for you i share god's will for happiness for me and i accept it as my function now so like i have said previously take a big piece of paper take an a4 paper and write this letters down with thick pen so you can see it when you are meditating you can put it on the floor if you're sitting down or if you're doing qigong you can put it on a chair nearby so you can see the lesson if you can't memorize it straight away put it on a big piece of paper on an a4 paper and write it down i share god's will for happiness for me and i accept it as my function now then when we do the qigong class i will remind you i will prompt you remember your lesson now and then you glance at your piece of paper look at the lesson remember it and then you do the flow do the movement with that particular lesson in mind i will also remind you to listen to your higher self listen to your holy self to your holy spirit mm, because your higher consciousness will prepare a message for you which you can understand in the words which you are using in the words which which are running around in your in your mind so we're going to get into a nice beautiful meditative state then i'm going to ask you to remind to remember your lesson and then i'm going to remind you to listen to your higher self i share god's will for happiness for me and i accept it as my function now and also write it on maybe small post-it notes put it onto your computer because you are meant to remember this for five minutes every hour and then also contemplating what it actually means and then seek this function deep within your mind for it is there awaiting but your choice you cannot fail to find it when you learn it is your choice and that you share god's will be happy for your only function here is happiness that is your only function in this lifetime you have no need to be less loving to god's son than he whose love created him as loving as himself it means you are we meant supposed to love everybody when we find that love within ourselves we can share this love and see this light within everybody else besides these hourly five minutes rest pause frequently today to tell yourself that you have now accepted happiness as your one function and be sure that you are joining with god's will in doing this i share god's will for happiness for me so for today's class i have made a beautiful lesson about happiness which is about 40 minutes long this is this one and here you have got a shorter practice period which i think is suitable for this particular lesson and here you have got the whole list of qigong classes where you can choose which are specifically designed for a course of miracle lessons enjoy <laughs>